got here fast. I thought you'd jump ship with the rest of the rats. Tornans are braver than you think, Malos. Nobody here is scared of you. <laughs> Look! Yes, I can see it. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes before my gargoyles overrun the core entirely. If you can take me down, that means you win. If you can't... Well, end of story. Aren't you smug? We were born into the stinking world. Might as well have some fun. Life or death? Not much of a choice. But you gotta choose, partner. Uh. Also, what's this battle music? If I have to. Okay. So let's focus on these ones first. That's what we better do. You saved me. Seems like a plan to me. I, I would try to position myself now for the bonus damage, but I don't think I can make it over to where I need to be with these big dudes and the boundaries being where they are. So I think I'm just gonna still keep spamming arts. Yeah, Malice and Monado arts are pretty. Uh, are they all focusing on Malice? Am I the only one attacking this dude? Question marks? I wonder. I think I might be the only one focusing on this guy. Don't you know who I am? Oh, no! I wanted to say focus on this dude. I thought that there was like an action for that. Oh, I guess we're all just focusing on him now. Uh. Oh, there's a break. I don't think I'll be able to do a Vanguard switch in time though. Oh, I don't have to. Feels great. Okay, let's just hope that Malice keeps focusing on the tank squad over there. He keeps burning his Monado arts on those. Because his Monado arts are annoying. But I think I'm gonna move the levels. After all. Might just be. Okay, I'm gonna try to save my. My specials for now. Focus on Malos. Alright. Start out with the Okay, so we have electric on him. He has fire on him. Oh jeez. That's annoying. I hate his Monado armor. Alright, so he's got electric, ice, and fire now. Electric, ice, fire, light. Electric, ice, fire, light, water. That is a mouthful. So I'm just missing dark, wind, and fire. No, I don't have fire. I have fire. Dark, wind, and stone, right? Right. Well, let's do wind real quick. Is the key to assuring victory. No more running Okay, now I have to switch now because he can't even attack. So I have to do. Alright, I need dark and I need stone. Can I topple him? Oh yeah, man. Oh. He's gonna go down before I can even do a chain attack. Yeah, I think I'm over leveled. Stepping up. I think I might just be <laughs> getting stabbed in the back. Boop. Do you really care for this world that much? I couldn't even put eight orbs on him.
Adam, the gargoyles. I see them, but. What's wrong? That all you got? <laughs> oh, I got plenty. I think it's time to smash your toys. Huh? Oh, beyond! <gasps> you know, preparation is everything, Malos. Firm. He's coming! You... got something to say? Huh. Why the damn bloodlust? I've told you before! The humans built the bonfire. All I did was help them light it! Enough sophistry. Oh, yeah? Are you a blade or not? You know it as well as I do. What humans are really like. <sighs> you think they're all like your precious driver? Malos! Summon Siren. Then let me add to the mix, too. Oh, I didn't read the first part. Stay with the uh, flow of battle. When all three sections of the gauge are charged, press plus to make Siren use an Artifice Art. Artifice Arts will not only deal damage to Malice's Siren, they'll boost your team's attack power. Similarly, Malice also has a Siren gauge he will charge. When the gauge is full, he will attack Mithra's Siren with Artifice Arts and get a boost to his own attack. The artifice arts get stronger the more they are used, so the key to prevailing is to try and reach the higher level artifice arts before Malice does. Furthermore, you won't be able to use chain attacks while the siren gauge is displayed, so plan accordingly. What? What? They added a unique mechanic for the final battle? What the heck? Okay, time to build it up, I guess. I guess it's probably like the same as building up a chain attack, though. I guess. And it's playing the same final battle music that plays in the regular game. Spoilers, I guess. But, absolutely beautiful music. And I love it when games will reuse tunes. Like this final battle theme even reuses like the main tune that plays during counter attack and other themes, for example. Is fire do something? Nope. Alright, just gonna use photon then. Doesn't really seem like there's much of a point inflicting a lot of orbs on him. Is there? I don't think. So uh, may as well just like Spam the different kinds of blade specials, unless, unless there's ones that cause like special effects. Which, um, how the pot, the pot's shown to me, so I can't tell. Also, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot to press plus when it was full. 
I realized a little too late. Okay. Okay. Oh, it like shackled his. It shackled his meter. Interesting. Yeah, we're not doing a whole lot of damage to him, but he's not exactly doing a lot to us either. Yeah, Monopoly Cyclones. Pretty annoying. Oh no, I'm just gonna win to a bottom anyway, even though I'm, even though we can't use chain attacks. My oh my. I can barely hear the music. I know I turned down the music so that you can hear voices during cutscenes since it's hard to hear voices normally. But now I feel like the music is too quiet for the battles. I like you to hear people yelling and attack sounds. Yeah, you couldn't even hear that part of that. It played that part of counter attack. If I must save the oh, well. Let's just use random specials. Is what we're doing. Not a year. Isn't that oh Siren! Also, isn't Monado Eater one of the ones that Shulk can only get from, like, a side quest? I know there's two, I forget which they are. I think one is Eater. So, I don't know if I've gotten that in the playthrough, going through. Maybe I have. Yeah, Cycle is kind of annoying, huh? Okay, now I'll position myself at least for the side attack. At least. Okay, time to pay attention to the mirror this time. Is what I better do. Seems like a good plan. Oh dang it. We'll do this then. The Monado armor is really annoying. Astounding! Okay, can I click break? Oh, sure can. There we go. Let's do a back attack. Someone gonna smash him? No. Nobody will? Oh, we're really extending the launch though. Oh my goodness. That is a very long launch. Oh boy. Send it one more time, please. Oh dang it, hey, he's gonna smash. If only. If only. Okay, I'm gonna use Ultimate Aurora first. Actually, no, let's do this first. Then I'll do Ultimate Aurora. Is what I'll do. My or my? Yeah, now I'll do this. Yeah, that should be a little bit of decent damage. Oh my goodness, that explosion though. Whoa, we were flying! Okay, we'll do the back attack here. He's a good plan. Julio. Oh my goodness. So rude. Can I have a break quick? Nope. No! No, I my healing art! I wasted it now. Oh man. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? My oh my. Okay, we're like halfway through the battle. Let's see. Put Groudy on him. Orbs on him that I can't even exploit. Man, oh man. Just keep using the random ones. Wait. I want to have a look at the sirens. Oh, they're just lobbing orbs at each other right now. 
Oops. I didn't break the switch in gym, but... Oh, dang it! I just smashed with Hayes. Dang it. What a shame. Wasted opportunities. Oh, it's so cool how you can see it flying around like that in the background and fighting them. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 I'm fighting again. <laughs> what if Cyan Sword is just stuck in the ground there now? My goodness. That's crazy. I love that. Alright, will I be able to inflict break this time? Nope. What a shame. What a shame indeed. Here we go. Magnificent. Alright, what's going on in the background? I want to see. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's a, well, I was going to say it's like in the background of something, but I'm not sure how far we'll be in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 when this is... Oh, <laughs> so I mean... Maybe I won't say it. <laughs> But yeah, that's really cool. Backgrounds. There's just so much is going on during the battle. Yeah, that's so cool. No, wait. What's going on after the battle? I'm not paying attention. I wasn't really paying attention here. Oh, I'm gonna. Uh oh. He's getting close to being able to do his thing again. Ruh -ruh. I have to inflict break, hopefully. Dang it! He resists break. I can't get behind him, so why even bother trying now? No point at the moment, I don't think. Oh. Come on. There we go. And then, will I be able to use this to get it before him? I need your help here, Jin. Let's see. Good. I'm with you. Will this charge up my gauge? Midnight Sun! No more running what you're doing! Guess not. What a shame. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, that just went flying across the battlefield. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh, time to switch to Vanguard then. I really like how you can switch between blades and drivers like that in this. So, if Shackle Blade is used or Shackle Driver, just switch. Oh my. Oh, we broke him. Oh. Nice. Oh, I didn't get launched though. What a shame. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to position anymore. I'm just gonna try to build up attacks. Here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that battle going on in the background. That's pretty crazy. God dang, he used that every single time I use the heal. He's so rude. What a rude dude, I must say. Okay, can I break him? I missed? What? No, okay. No, okay. Oh, can I switch to Jin to counter that? Nope. Sure can't. Don't you know who I am? Oop. Oh my goodness, that battle going on in the background. There's so much going on. 
Nice. Okay, we're about to beat him. There we go. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. That battle was crazy. Good show. But I know you've got more. Let it all out, Mithra. Stop holding out on me. Show me what you got, Mithra! Do it! Make me proud! This is a battle between the Aegises.
I just... want... to save... Our nation, our people. My brother, we must flee before we lose the ground beneath our feet. Did you heed me, brother? I commend my people to you. Jin? Hayes? Where? Adam? Everyone? Hugo.
You're leaving? Yes. The Royal Spirit Crucible is in Lithyria. I believe it'll keep this sealed. I see. I have a request for you. I hear that a militia squad is evacuated to Specia. Give them a message from me. Once things are calm, they should come to Lithyria. Okay? Understood. I'll do it. What is that? Caught up with you at last, Laura. How do you know my name? It knows human speech. But it's not a blade. Gort? What happened to you? It hurt. Oh. The pain. It hurt when you cut my bloody arm off. <laughs> Is this my arm? Hey, I have an arm. It still hurts, though. It throbs and it throbs and it just doesn't stop. I can't make sense of this. He's lost his mind. I don't think so. He seems ecstatic. I'll use your blood as a balm for my wounds. How about it? Sound fair? Yes! <sighs> I'll start with you. You torn and blade. I'm paying you back for cutting my arms off, you dog! I'll have me arms back. And I think I deserve some interest, too. I'll take your ears and nose as well. But first, I'll get your blood for my medicine. Then it'll be your turn, Laura. It's your meddling that did this to me after all. You and your bitch mother. I knew I should have gotten myself a decent woman. It's your bastard fault. Think you're gonna die quick? Now, I'm gonna enjoy watching you suffer. Uh, I will not let you insult my mother like that. Uh. Hurts to hear the truth, don't it? You think you can pass judgment on my mother? You don't know us! Leave it, Laura. Trying to talk to him is a waste of time. He's right. No more mercy. This creature is beyond help. Jin. Hayes. You're right. I won't waste my mercy on him. But I will end his pain. Excellent! 
I'll have me some prime time entertainment with you, girl. Hope you're a screamer, Laura. I did not see this coming at all. Party formation has changed, it's just us now. Uh, level 53 Gort. That blade on his right arm reminds me of Mumkars. Honestly. So rude. Okay, hopefully he doesn't resist break. Thank goodness. Yeah, I don't think there's much point positioning there. I just kind of want to get the AP the HP potion. If I must. Yeah, he's always gonna face me anyway. Unless he's toppled. Away. Away. There's only three orbs I can put on him anyway. So I mean there's that. Alright. Let's wait until Jin's more ready. There we go. Now break. And then we switch to Jin, like that. Okay, this is apparently a path. It's possible. Let's just try to get my specials ready like that. I don't think Hayes can do anything, can she? Yeah, just regular wind. Oh, you're kidding me. Thanks, game. Yeah, just regular key here. Oh, I've got all three orbs on that I can have. Oh, he's already almost dead. I'm fine. Just fine. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that fight wasn't too difficult considering we only had the one group. Shameless to the very end. You can rest easy now, Mother. Somebody turned Gort into that horrible thing. Did they mean to kill us? I don't know. But... Malus dying won't necessarily be enough to bring peace to the world. That I am certain of. As long as there are people... There will always be strife, I suppose. Don't say that. Things can change. There's always hope. Don't you think, Jin? Yes, you're right. As long as... Blades and humans... are bonded to each other. Surely... someday... Passing by, 
In the course of a lifetime, a man will see uncountable meetings and partings. Yet, as your life's candle sputters and dies, whose face is it that rises to greet you? Happy is the man who can sleep in the comfort of a smile he sees then. No, I don't wish for forever. Even just for one moment, it's enough if it's with her. And yet, what is the man to do who has not been afforded that chance? The road stretches on without end. I cannot but walk down it. As long as I keep walking, I can hold out hope that one day, the time may come when I see her smile again. That hope keeps me afloat. You won't come back. This is the road I must walk. Our paths will cross. But should we, in fact, ever meet again? On that day, So that was it then, that was the game. Huh. Huh. Well. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> usually, after I'm done with like the playthrough of a game, I usually like to have like a discussion of it during the end or like during the credits. I couldn't really do it during the credits there, but... What do I even say to that? Oh, look at the new background. Kind of like how there's a new background for beating regular Xenoblade Chronicles 2. There's a new background here, too. That's cool. I like that. So it's kind of like the beginning of Xenoblade 2 there. That's interesting. I did have a good time with this game, I must admit. Like, I... Do have the expansion pass for the game, but Xenoblade 2 is like one of my favorite games ever made. It was my favorite game for a while, but like when I heard that they were making a physical edition of this, I just had to get that. So I'm actually playing the physical edition right now of the game, even though I do have the expansion pass as well. So I technically got this twice, but I was like a physical edition of more content of like one of my favorite games. Yes, please. I don't like how the game was artificially made longer by making it be like mandatory side quests. Get your community up to level 4. That was awful. I was so shocked when I saw get your community up to level 4 to prepare for Valos after it already took so long to get it from 1 to 2. But yeah, over the past week I've been grinding hard to <laughs> get that community level up. My oh my. New game plus. Uh, carries over into new game plus teams levels and the equipment and advancement of drivers and blades of team golden items events theater unlock stats unique monster defeat stats playtime slate fragment collection stats and accomplishment well, yeah whatever those slates are number of smash green barrels new custom and bringer of chaos difficulty levels i know that there's a bringer of chaos difficulty level in 
regular Xenoblade 2. Oh, at the time of recording this, I haven't actually started my Xenoblade 2 playthrough on stream yet. In fact, it's currently lent to a friend. I don't even have it with me right now. But I was thinking I'd do a new game plus for that, which is probably evident because we're probably near the end of that game at the time that this goes up. But I forgot that Bringer of Chaos difficulty was a thing. Yeah, I'll do a new game plus. I'll try to start at like level one and I'll try it on Bringer of Chaos difficulty. That actually sounds really fun. My save file is currently in the middle of a new game plus. So I'm going to have to beat that first and then do another new game plus. But considering I have all my levels and stuff like that, it should be easy to just zoom through once i get the game back that is anyway unique monster time attack and saving subjugation records unlock drivers hidden oh oh hold on this is the new features page sorry so there's unique monster time attack and saving subjugation records interesting so you can unlock drivers hidden affinities to develop them further so it's kind of like the new game plus of xenoblade 2 where there's like another level to the affinity chart ow that's not supposed to crack <laughs> The driver's charts there. So, lower characters' levels when resting at a camp or in and pocket the EXP difference as bonus EXP. Okay, so that's the thing as well. And exchange bonus EXP for special items. So, I assume you can get like a pouch expansion kit. Also, did I just do like all those side quests for like nothing? Considering that side quests don't carry over. All quests and skip travel points will be reset. When you save after starting new game plus save data from your first playthrough will be overridden and game community <laughs> and community level will be reset. Oh my goodness. Uh, but if you want 100% the game, you kind of have to start a new game plus. Man, oh man. Maybe I'll try to 100% Xenoblade 2 since that playthrough will be a new game plus playthrough. You know? Man, oh man, I totally do a new game plus playthrough of Xenoblade 1 on stream if the fact that what Shulk wields wasn't a spoiler for like the end of the game pretty much, you know? Like, this is gonna go up after Xenoblade 1's done, so I don't think I need to worry about spoiling it anymore because I don't want to go through a new game plus with Xenoblade 1 with a true Monado. You know, that's that is not a good idea. It's like, what, this glowy sword that Shulk has for the entire game? No, that, that's dumb. But yeah, where does it put me? Does it put me, like, before the Malos fight? I assume so, right? I'm curious. But anyway, as for the artificially making it longer thing, like, I get it. This is just, like, a DLC expansion. It's a way to make it longer. So at the end of the day, it's like, okay, I get it. Like, I may not completely like it, but I get it. It's a way to make it last a bit longer when it's super short normally. Like, how much playtime do I have? 24 hours, 24 and a half hours, pretty much. Yeah, I... This world is just so cool. But, what was I saying? Losing my train of thought. Wait, watch that. Oh! Wait, what? Uh... Hold on, I can go here? Really? Huh. Whoa, that messes with my head. Is that treasure? No, that's just still another rock. Huh. That's cool just how real this whole world is, you know? How you can do things like what I'm doing right now, and nothing's to stop you. Except for like fall damage. Whoa, treasure. How did I not see this before? How did I miss this? What? The suspense is killing oh. me. Structure to this lock. Slow and steady. Doesn't even matter. It's not like it matters. But I just love this world so much, and yeah, I get it that this is just like a kind of DLC prequel that they made. Like, I just happened to get the physical edition because I like that of things. Like, if it was like only the physical edition, like if Xenoblade Chronicles 2 wasn't even a thing and this was like its own standalone game and it was only the physical edition, then yeah, I'd say that it was, <laughs> I'd probably feel a bit ripped off. But like, as a like $30 Canadian expansion plus all the... Day. 
plus so, all the other stuff that's in the expansion that they've added like over the past year well last year now considering it's 2019 now at the time of recording this but considering all the other stuff that they included like what a worthwhile expansion pass like wow that's great i hate when companies are like here's a game and you want bonus content here's dlc like right at release or like really soon after release i like the path that nintendo and like companies that work with nintendo like monolith soft have the approach where it really is bonus content where it's really something that's actually developed after the fact you know like for example with smash bros it's like Okay, we've done the game now, so now development on DLC characters can start, and they're supporting that for, like, who knows how long that's gonna go. Probably at least lasting the duration of this year for the five DLC characters for that. I love the approach with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 here. I would have put more time into my own copy of Xenoblade Chronicles if I wasn't getting into streaming this past year. I had only just started on January the last year, January 25th, 2018. I totally would have kept putting more time into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 if I wasn't busy playing things that I was streaming. Because they were adding so much new stuff into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 with the DLC expansion pass. Maybe I'll actually be able to like showcase it and experience more of it once I do the playthrough of that that's yet to start. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Which I'm probably most of the way through now. Like, I still have to plan out exactly how Torna is going to factor into my Xenoblade 1, 2, and Torna series. But I assume that this will end, like, I assume that this is, like, right before the end of Chapter 9 of Xenoblade 2. Like, I'm pretty sure that that's where I'm going to end it. So we're not through with that game yet, but... Woo! But yeah, they added so much new stuff into that, that I do look forward to showcasing once that- what are you doing, Pithra? That I do look forward to showcasing once I start that playthrough that, for those watching this, I'm already most of the way through. Oh man, I shouldn't be stalling like this, this is a video, not a stream. <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway, are there any more thoughts I want to get on this game? I definitely did not foresee the death of Hugo, for sure. That was crazy, and the death of... What's his name again? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait. Oh, it doesn't show people with me. <coughs> I don't know why I'm sick. It was like something that was stuck in my throat. Not Mika, the other kid. What was the other kid's name? Where? Oh, he's not even with the party. That's why. He's in the town. The Gourmati kid, though. I forget what his name is. Silly me. But him, I did not foresee his death. But yeah, that was really interesting that they made that as a kind of more of a reason for... Oh, what are you doing, Jin? For Mithra to become Pyro, pretty much. Like, not being able to deal with those emotions of the pain and destruction that she had caused. And electing to just, like kind of seal herself away within Pyra, I guess, after creating Pyra. Probably as a way to just forget about that and not want to unleash that destruction again. Like, I'm pretty sure it was in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 that she didn't want to come out because she was afraid that she would cause the same destruction that she once did. Which is why she elected for creating Pyra. Like, she was afraid of what she had done to the Torn and Titan as well as to the people and her comrades there. With the death of Hugo and the death of... <laughs> the guy whose name I can't remember. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I can't remember it. But yeah, I wonder if... I wonder if Bridget and Ageon had some drivers before. Like, uh, Morag and her brother. The Emperor. I wonder. Probably, I imagine. They probably wouldn't just sit as core crystals for 500 years, but... But what the heck happened to Jin at that time? Like, when did Malos come back? How did Malos come back? When did he find Jin? And I'm really surprised it didn't show a scene of, like, Mikhail being, like, kidnapped by Praetor Malthus, you know? And then turned into a Blade Eater. You know? 
I'm surprised that didn't happen. I was expecting that to be one of the things that happened after the credits. As well as the big scene with Jin and Laura there. Huh. But yeah, how interesting. Why did Mikhail join Malos after everything that Malos did here? What do you do? <laughs> anyway, I guess that's the end of the series of this game, but isn't the end of like the whole series that I'm doing. So I assume after this will be like the finale of chapter 9 of Xenoblade 2 and then chapter 10 the finale of it all. But yeah, for anybody that's stuck around for this series, like thanks so much for stopping by watching. This is the second series that I've done. Just recording. The first one is Rakuen. Um the first half of the recording of this was botched, I'm gonna have to go and redo that at some point. Maybe I have to do it in a new game plus. <laughs> That'd be funny. But I have to go and redo that. But... But yeah, for anyone who's watching like the whole series of my Xenoblade 1, 2, and Torna thing and is watching this, which is just a recording and not the live stream, because I know most people will just watch a live stream but not... Things that I do that are video only. So for those who are watching this, like, hey, I appreciate you. Super kind of you. And I hope you've been enjoying this series and are looking forward to the finale of the whole thing. But that was the finale of this game. I quite enjoyed it. It was pretty fun. I just wish that I didn't have to raise the community to level 4 and take, like, 5,000 years to do it. Because last time I played this game was a few months ago. But yeah, so thanks everybody so much for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it as always. And yeah, so until next time then, see ya.